Okay, this is the adaptive bicycle I just finished building for Tracy. It is one to be ridden by someone who has no arms, to be operated by the shoulders, with backpedaling brakes affecting both wheels. These are the handlebars that are controlled by shoulder movements on a telescopic stem. The little dashboard here has gear shifts and a little release peg for the telescopic stem. The gear shift operates an internal gear 8-speed hub, a Nexus 8 Shimano. Let me turn this to match. There we go. Nexus 8. The brakes, most importantly, besides the coaster brake in the rear hub, which is set just outside of the range of the cable-operated brakes, this is a device I assembled myself, uh, designed myself, but the concept is something uh, that was on Tracy's previous bike that got stolen. So basically on the left hand crank, turns out it's also a right hand crank with chain ring bolt holes, with a small chain ring that through a secondary chain drives a one speed freewheel. So when you pedal back, when you pedal forwards, this one speed freewheel uh, ratchets freely and doesn't operate anything. But when pedaled backward, the freewheel operates a pulley. Um, the pulley is actually a rear hub with a threaded end that's been converted to a simple pulley. And uh, that pulley operates a cable. Let me give you another view. You can see the cables moving there and the ends of the cables showing at the bottom. Pedaling backwards operates the rear brake as well as the front brake. This rear freewheel hub part has been modified greatly, serves as a cable pulley that is um, pivoting around a boss that has been machined onto a block of aluminum, which then has been embedded into uh, a stem clamp that is shimmed with some metal and attached to the seat tube. These cables go to the front and the back and are adjustable with barrel adjusters here. The telescopic stem is made of two closely nesting pieces of square aluminum tubing that were purchased. The top one obviously has been painted, the bottom one is bare. A gas spring has been bolted into here. This is the bolt end that anchors the gas spring at this end and up here is the bolt that anchors the gas spring at the top end. This is simply a bolt that anchors an old stem clamp to attach the handlebars and uh, this swelling is actually um, hot glue that has been cast, molded around the end of the larger aluminum tube to serve as a seal to keep dirt out of the mechanism and to keep most of the oil in the mechanism. It's still got a bit of dripping going on, but that's okay. This little bolt here attaches part of a steerer tube in here that accepts this stem, which has been shortened with a quill taper 
that has been shortened to about this long. So this quill stem fits into the steerer tube that is embedded in this smaller square aluminum tube. And this stem is clamped to the middle part of these handlebars. Uh, the customer has asked for regular handlebars to be attached to the bike so that her husband could wheel the bike around and handle it into the garage, out of the garage, and so on. So this is for kind of handling and storage purposes rather than riding purposes. But it is useful for the neophytes like me trying to ride this bike. It uh, helps me keep my balance while I'm starting off on this. The dashboard of these handlebars is a piece of metal that was actually cut out of a set of handlebars like these with a somewhat different profile, a more compact profile. And it's been attached on one side with the business end of an old style saddle clamp so that the notches can hold the dashboard at the proper angle in a stable fashion. Where the seat clamp, where the stem clamp has been embedded into the top square aluminum tube, I have formed a hot glue seal to prevent um, leakage from getting into there, water seepage. The, um, the stem extension actuator or release is just an old style down tube uh, shifter that's been modified slightly to be loose enough to operate easily but still snugly fitted onto its clamp so that it doesn't wobble too much. That cable goes down to the um, a structure that moves a peg. This is a better view of the peg with it moving in and out. This is just cable. There we go. The leaf spring there is actually um, a piece of sp a piece of spring from uh, from a picture frame. I've also considered using those metal uh, bundling straps, which have quite a lot of springiness to them. The metal frame here is an old strap of metal that's a sixteenth three thirty seconds of an inch in thickness and has been bent to fit the purposes here with some holes drilled and threaded shallowly into the aluminum tubing. The tubing itself, the square tubing, is over an eighth of an inch in thickness. Here we go. Uh, yeah, over an eighth of an inch in thickness. So it offers sufficient purchase for those bolts to hold the metal in place. Like I said, I've tuned the back pedaling brakes so that they are braking before the uh, before the coaster brake can break. And now the front wheel. Which is the most effective braking wheel on a bike. So it's nice to have that controlled by the back pedaling. One, two, and back. Both wheels stop. Very nice, very effective. Now a demonstration of the telescopic stem in action. Actuating with the peg control going contracted all the way. This allows for better position when going up hills and leaving it out a notch at a time. There are actually nine notches that allow about seven inches of travel. The, uh, the gas spring is I think about 10 to 15 pounds so it doesn't offer too much resistance to uh, forward pressure. And it offers uh, a slow enough return that you don't 
smack yourself in the throat. Um, but still quick enough that uh, you're not waiting for the handlebars to get up to height while you're riding. Um, so you still have some pressure on the handlebars and some control. Since Tracy's picked up her bike, she's enjoyed riding it this past summer, but finds there could be more padding on the shoulder bars. Uh, the stem could be shorter so that she's not riding so far back at the highest positions. And uh, the gas spring is sluggish in the cold, so that might need some redesign. Otherwise, things are good.